Good morning, y'all. Happy Thursday. One more day is Friday Eve. One more day to the weekend. How's everybody doing? Thank you for all my birthday wishes. I appreciate you all. Thank you for checking on me during the storm. We still have a lot of people that don't have power, but my power and everything is on. My cable is on. I didn't have use of my phone. Everything was out, So, but everything is back on, and I'm grateful. I lost mm, about $200, maybe three worth of food, but that's replaceable. Some people lost kids and their whole homes, house fires and things like that. So I am not, you know, all that's material things. So I'm not even worried about it. But uh, I, 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 this came in my spirit and I've mentioned this before. If you go back and watch my video when I was talking about after Hurricane Harvey, well, at, this will happen. So the reason why I'm bringing this up is there's so much hatred and, um, disharmony in the world and we were commanded by God to love you one another and, and a lot of times that don't happen well I and, and I and I brought this up and I'm gonna link that video down below after they had that uh, remember the lady got killed in Charlottesville West Virginia when they had that uh, make America great rally or something but a lady down there got killed and they just had a story on the ID channel about that I watched it. I think it was a two day story or whatever but they interviewed her mom it was just really really sad and they interviewed some people that were actually there they interviewed the guy he actually fell on the, on, on, on the, on the lady that actually perished in that event but it, it was just but after that event that's when we had Hurricane Harbor remember with the devastation in Houston and I, you know I think that when there's so much disharmony and, and, and there's no love in the world, the Lord shows up and shows out. And he thinks it well, you can't do nothing but love one another and help one another and assist and everything. And I was looking at the news yesterday and all the people are getting together and helping one another at the Hurricane Laura. And you know, feeding one another and offering words of encouragement, donating funds and stuff like this. But you know, and, and, and I love to see it. But it's sad that we can't have this all the time. It has to take devastation amongst everybody for people to get together and love each other. Why we can't love each other every day? And I think that's our, you know, and I, and I talk about this all the time. And it's something I'm, and I'm passionate about. There's a lesson to be learned in everything you go through. And every time you see these storms and stuff, you see people coming together. There's love. There's assistance. People loving on one another. And it's, it's you know, and that's what it's all about. But it shouldn't take the Lord to, to, for us to have a severe storm and all this devastation for people to love each other. And when God is not pleased, I mean, I, I, I'm not a pastor. I'm not a minister. I'm just a servant. But every time it gets to the point where it just becomes unbearable with all the hate, then something like this happens. You know, you see in the news there's hate, uh, there's disharmony there's just no love there's no peace there's no compassion and bam something will happen and all you got is love and togetherness and it doesn't matter what side of the tracks you on your lights out just like somebody in the hood they lights out we all God's children no matter what our situation or circumstance we all his and I don't know I guess it, it, until he come back in the flesh people just not gonna get it they're not gonna get it I don't care what you drive, how you look out like. You're still God's child. If you get out of a car and a hoop, if you get your... And you know, like, uh, I remember this lady was telling me um, when she dropped her kids off at school one morning, the little girl was saying, look, let me out around the corner, I'll walk. She said she thinks she was embarrassed of her car. Baby, it doesn't matter what your mama drives. She got you to school. That's what's important. See, we got to put... We got to stop putting so much emphasis on what you have and what you look like and more like where your heart is at. People don't get that. I don't care what you look like or what you have, what you don't have. You God's child, that's why I love you. I don't care what you drive. And I'm telling you, I have seen it. I have witnessed it. People treat people different based on what they have, what they wear, what they look like. Scrap all that. Where is their heart? Where is God in the midst of what they do? Quit mistreating people based on what they have or what they don't have. All that's irrelevant. When it's all said and done, you can't take anything with you. Love each other. I get tired of preaching that. 
No, I ain't going to get tired of it. I'm going to keep preaching that until God bring me home. Call me home. It's too much hate. It's too much hate. On the news, all you would see was uh, different things happening. All, all kind of stuff. I don't even want to get into it because it saddens me. And then guess what? All of a sudden, you got a storm. All the focus is off of the hate and everything. And after the storm, everybody got to come together. That's God. I really, really, really... But those natural disasters, sometimes it's a wake-up call. You remember the 10 plagues? And Exodus is just like that, right? You know, it's the hurricane. It's the pandemic. I mean, it's, it's, it's all type of things. And what's the connected? Like I said, love, will, love could cure a lot. It could. And it will. We just got to trust and believe and have the right attitude, man. I'm not perfect. I'm not saying I'm perfect. But Lord have mercy. That man on the street that's hungry, that's begging, is just important as the person that's pulling up in the Lamborghini or whatever he may be driving. See, I don't get caught up in that, in material things and who a person is and all that type of stuff. That's irrelevant to me. You God's child regardless of what you have. And we got to learn that. We got to be better. We got to do better because God loves us and we're supposed to love each other. All right, y'all. I'm headed out. I love everybody. I may seem like I'm fussing. I'm not fussing, y'all. It's just I, 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 I want, I want the love back. I want the days when the little kids be walking down the street and they look hungry, and people will reach out to the family instead of people going behind their backs and talking about them. You know what I'm saying? The lady got a whole bunch of kids and people looking down on them. Don't give any encouragement, man. That's hard. Don't do people like that. Don't do people like that because you don't ever know. The same thing you laughing at could be making you cry. All right, y'all. Much love. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.